Hey everyone, I am Simple from Motion Tutorials and today's tutorial is something special for you. In this tutorial I will show you how to create that kind of animation stuff using by Duic Basil script. You have required a new version of Duic Basil for this animation, so you will find the download link below in the description. Without wasting time, now let's get started. Here I have already created three different types of animation using my Duic Basil, you can also use in your videos. Now let's see how it work. So first create a new composition, this is composition settings you can change setting according to your project. So here I have width 800 by height 600 and frame rate 29.97, duration 3 second is enough, with everything set, click OK. Now go to illustrator, here I have made a graph illustration, as you can see here all layers are separated, if you are a beginner, so I want to share, why we make separate layers in illustration, because after effects will not recognize a single layer and will treat it as a still image, so let's import this graph illustration into the after effects. Double click in the empty space of the project panel and select graph illustrator file, in the panel setting below, we need to decide how do we want to import this file as, it gives us three options, as we want all our layers to have a separate identity, we are going to select composition, retain layer size, it will create a new composition in the project panel, place it into the timeline and double click on it, Go to composition and select composition settings and then change the background color. As you can see here all layers are separated, now let's one by one rename these layers. Let's move to the next step. Select the reference layer and press T this is keyboard shortcut of opacity and reduce the opacity value of 20%. Then select the pointer layer and press P this is a keyboard shortcut of position. Here you may notice one thing when I select pointer layer the time path visibility does not appear on pointer object, so here I will show you the option of path visibility, just go to the bottom and click on path visibility. After that you can easily move pointer object. So let's animate this pointer object, first fix this anchor point to the bottom side, press Y this is keyboard shortcut of the move anchor point. Now select pointer layer and press shift S this is keyboard shortcut of scale, let's create a new keyframe by clicking on scale stopwatch and then put into zero value at the first keyframe, go to a few frames forward and put scale value 105. Then again go to a few frames forward and put scale value 100. Now select all keyframes and right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease, F9 this is a keyboard shortcut of easy ease. As you see pointer object is animating. That's perfect. Let's move to the next step. Create a new keyframe by clicking on position stopwatch and go to a few frames forward, and select pointer object, and follow this arrow path, when I have moved pointer object at that time keyframe automatically generate to the timeline. Now again go to a few frames forward and follow the same process. We have done. So let's see how it works. As you can see here, it's going well. But you can make great. I know your next question. How? Let's do it. Go to layer and select transform and then click on auto orient. Let's on this orient option and hit OK. Now select pointer layer and press shift R this is keyboard shortcut of rotation. 
fix this point object using rotation value. That's perfect. Now let's see the magic. As you can see pointer object rotate automatically. I hope this new option will be helpful for you. Let's move to the next step, select all keyframes and hold alt and then drag it a little bit forward. You can also adjust these keyframes according to your animation requirements. Now select all keyframes and right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease, F9 this is a keyboard shortcut of easy ease. Go to graph editor and make sure mouse pointer should be inside the graph editor area only, and then press tilde. This is keyboard shortcuts of expand work area. As you can see, this is animation graph low, when I select the red graph and going to apply on easy ease, but there is no effect on it, because red and green graph are together. So first, do it separate. Select graph and click on separate dimensions. That's perfect. Now you can easily to work on it. So first select the red graph and click on easy ease. Let's little bit adjustment on it. Select the green graph and click on easy ease. Now again press tilde, for back to main screen. Press 0 to ramp preview this. That's perfect. Let's fix this animation timing by adjusting the keyframes. We don't need reference layer anymore, so let's hide it from timeline. Let's move to the next step, go to the window and select Duic Basel. This is new Duic Basel so you have required a new version of Duic Basel for this animation, so you'll find the download link below in the description. Now let's start, click on automations and select pointer layer and now click on motion trail. As you can see stroke automatically created. Do some little bit adjustment on motion trail so let's go to the control panel and put the value whatever you want as your requirement. That's perfect. I hope this trick is helpful for you. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe.
Also, share your suggestion regarding this video. See you next time.